Hey, Troy here with Big BB LLC. Uh, I've got right here a Security 320. And one of the things I've noticed about these Security 320s is there's not a whole lot of information out there on how to correctly assemble the ejector. So I thought I'd do a quick video on that. I'm not going to remove this one and install it for you because it's simple enough I could walk you through. Matter of fact, you're probably going to have more of a hard time getting all four pieces to do an assembly than you are actually putting it in. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this over and I'm gonna show you the, final, uh, the finer details of how to do this. Got a flashlight. So you look in the back there, you can see that little spring. There you go. You can see that little spring in that hole. And the back end of the uh, ejector actually fits in that spring in the hole. And then on the front side, you got that tab. That tab down here that's held in by that screw. And you got the front side of the ejector actually in there. So the way I did this is I actually put that tab on the ejector put the uh, spring in the hole, put the back of the ejector through it, and just actually just kept tension on it until I got them aligned. Screwdriver down through the uh, ejection port, put it down in there, and that's all there is to it. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of places where you could get all four of these parts at the same time. Seems like everybody is out of the kit, so over a course of a few weeks, I've had to source the ejector, the tab, the screw, and the spring separately. Um, but that's all there is to it. And so if you have any more questions, let me know. But uh, for right now, this one's complete. I'm just going to reassemble this one and get it back to the customer. We'll see you all later.